Ooh, a box. I wonder what's inside. Dun 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 dun. There you go. Some very, very splendid caterpillars. Let me show you. They're very large. These are Citheronia regalis, uh, a silk moth from North America. It feeds on hickory and walnut. It's also called the hickory horned devil. And well, these caterpillars, they are amazing. They aren't fully grown yet, actually. They will grow much, much larger than this. But what's actually peculiar, peculiar is their colors. Usually these larvae are bright green, but mines are very dark, as you can see. There's many of them in this uh, piece of walnut tree, and they are just defoliating it like madmen. Take a look, splendid, splendid caterpillars. I will have many of these next year. And I am breeding this species on a larger scale because I like to have, uh, I like to breed hundreds of them for the next year. Here, here's a close-up. Those of you who are familiar with this species and who are familiar with this caterpillar will notice the difference in color and how dark these are. These the horns are dark instead of red, but it's, they also seem to lack pigment on, the, on their backside. They look a little grayish or brown. So this is a little cool, cool color variation. This one's about to shed skin. Well, I can take many close-up shots of these. They are just very nice. And I like to film them again when they're done growing because actually they aren't near fully grown yet. They will come really, really huge and I'm not kidding you. That's one, probably one of the biggest caterpillars that I have seen in my life. At least when they will be fully grown, that is. There. They are very easily reared in boxes actually. Usually big species like this need a lot of ventilation and you need to put them in a cage or a sleeve to give them proper ventilation but that doesn't apply to this species they do really perfectly well inside closed plastic boxes here some feces goodbye that's good fertilizer for the plant so yeah i hope you enjoyed seeing them I have actually three Ciceronia species in captivity now, not only Regalis, but also Laucon and Splendens. Oh, and actually one more, but I forgot its scientific name. I think it may be Bella Vista. Amazing. One of my favorite.